Well, a beautiful sounding six cylinder diesel engine. Amazing to think that it's 1935, because it's actually very quiet for uh, an early diesel engine, or indeed any diesel engine for that matter. Um, here we have it, air cleaner here, which cleans the air that's sucked into the six cylinders. That air is then compressed and then ignited by the diesel fuel, which is injected via the six injectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Total horsepower, 50 horsepower. And I must say, having driven this vehicle, it feels way ahead of its time. This truck can carry three tons with a top speed of 35 miles an hour. This engine wasn't as powerful or light as a petrol engine, but it proved to be much more fuel efficient. And that's what really mattered. Because they were so much cheaper to run, diesel trucks finally started to seriously compete with trains for long distance haulage. And with the success of the first diesels, trucks started getting bigger. Over the next 70 years, the biggest truck engines went from less than 100 horsepower to over 600, and their maximum loads have increased to almost 200 tons. Who needs trains? Trucks and diesel engines have one thing in common. The bigger, the better. Say hello to Europe's most powerful commercial truck and the first to break the 600 horsepower barrier. 610 horsepower, to be precise.